Now at five, a terrible trend. Allen County health experts say more people are dying after accidentally overdosing on prescription medicines. The growing number of deaths was shocking to the doctors who looked back on the data here in Allen County. People are dying due to a lethal cocktail of medicine, most of which experts say did not belong to them, but to family or friends. News Channel 15's Megan Royst spoke with a number of the member of the study committee and joins us live now from our newsroom with more. Heather, Dr. Deb McMahon with the Fort Wayne Allen County Health Department tells me it all starts with your medicine cabinet. I know a lot of people hold on to prescription pills because they might need it in the future, but she says they're winding up in the wrong hands. That's a common misperception that, well, they're prescription, so they have to be safe. Experts in the study committee found over the last six years, more than 270 people in Allen County died due to accidental prescription drug overdose, something that could have easily been prevented. Doctors urge people who share pain pills and other prescription medicine with family and friends to stop. I don't know why people think antibiotics and pain relievers and narcotics are different somehow. They're still medications that when I'm prescribing them, I know the situation I'm prescribing them for. I know the patient. It doesn't mean I'm writing them as a general prescription for anybody. What the group found was a more than 50% increase in prescription drug overdose deaths since 2008. In 2010, 13 out of every 100,000 people died due to overdose. Last year, it jumped to 17. That means we now have as many drug overdose deaths as we do car accident deaths. More men than women died, primarily middle-aged, with the average age of 43, who were on multiple drugs, commonly pain and anti-anxiety medicine. The message to you at home, it's time to clean out the medicine cabinet. I know we're very thrifty. We don't want to, we might need that in the future, but someone will write it for you if you need it in the future. Now, you should never flush on one in medicine. medicine. Instead, go and drop it off at a drug drop box. We have those lo locations posted for you on Wayne.com. Live in the newsroom, Megan Royst, News Channel 15.